Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and today we're taking a look at the much anticipated Ares Amoeba M4 Carbine 13 inch modular rail system with electronic control unit, also known as the AM-013. Alright, so unless you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you're probably already familiar with this gun, or at least this look and style, because it's been featured in numerous games and movies over the last two and three years. Now the real firearm design behind this gun was to try to replace guns like the MP5 SD, which traditionally have a very low signature, but is a smaller caliber round. The solution was the development of this rifle. The real firearm version is going to be chambered in 300 blackout, which keeps that very low signature, but also has a much more powerful punch. Now the airsoft replica that you guys see here developed by Ares is a great representation of that gun that not only looks super badass, but functions great. Starting with the externals, we're going to have a two position unique telescoping stock. Simply pinch the buttons on the left and right side to pull the stock out. It's also going to house the battery right in here. Moving to the center of the gun, we're going to have the Ares Amoeba Nylon Fiber Upper and Lower Receiver that has a ton of great features. The pistol grip is going to come heavily textured, meaning you're going to be able to maintain a great control over the gun whether you're using your bare hands or gloves. One of my favorite features about this gun is the enlarged magazine release on the right side making the reloads very quick and easy. We are going to have a functioning charging handle that will give you access to the hop-up and it is also going to be a rotary style hop-up unit for very consistent shots. The selector switch is going to be located on the left side of the gun as you would expect on an M4 variant and has a very satisfying click when you switch it to each position. The included 300 round high cap magazine is going to be unique in the design and function. It's going to have that same heavy texturing on the magazine so you can get those reloads in really good. It's also going to have a pull tab that can be flipped up and down for quick reloads. Now one of the most unique features about this gun is going to be the rail system and the barrel. The real firearms version is going to have a 6 inch barrel with a built in suppressor. Now the airsoft version here is going to have a full length 300mm inner barrel for a lot of range and accuracy despite the compact size of the gun. Now this rail system is unique in the fact that it is modular and then you can move those rails in any position that you want at the 90 or 45 degree angle to give you lots of options for mounting any of the accessories that your mission may need. Now the two pieces that you see at the top and bottom of the rail here are hand stops. Now this was designed to get your hand far up on the gun to maintain maximum control. You have the option to move these hand stops or take them off completely. Same thing with the rail segments and iron sights. You can move it closer or further back or put them in different locations for other accessories. The included iron sights are going to be flipped up and down if you want to use an optic and we're going to have your standard Picatinny rail on the top of the upper receiver. So not only is she a beauty, but she's got brains too. Internally, it's going to house the Ares Amoeba gearbox that performs exceptionally well. The gearbox is going to feature a polycarbonate piston with a full metal tooth rack, steel gears, and a built-in electronic control unit that will give you an extremely snappy trigger response and the ability to change fire modes. Now, if you're considering picking up this gun, I would highly recommend picking up the electronic programming unit that you see here. This is going to allow you to easily change the fire modes from semi-automatic only, three-round burst, or full auto by simply plugging it in between the battery and the gun. Now, along with the built-in an electronic control unit it is also going to come with a micro switch which is going to give you a very definitive trigger pull and great response now don't let the fact that this was designed to be a cqb gun deter you from using it for outdoor games it is going to come with that rotary hop and a built-in type bar barrel for lots of range and accuracy and it's going to come 11.1 .1 lipo ready because of those upgraded internals so you're going to have a high rate of fire high accuracy and lots of range the gun is going to be shooting around 400 FPS out of the box, which is ideal for outdoor play. But it's going to come with a quick spring change feature, that way you can lower the FPS to CQB field limits by only removing two screws giving you access to the spring. 
Now we do have this gun available for pre-order on our website at airsoftgi.com in black and tan. It's going to be going for $279.99 and we are expecting to get this gun in October. And if you're thinking about picking up this gun, I would highly recommend hit up that pre-order soon to lock down the pricing and reserve your unit. Alright guys, this has been your overview of the new upcoming Ares Amoeba M4 Carbine 13 inch modular rail. Also keep in mind that this model you guys see here is a production sample, so details and pricing are subject to change. Otherwise, as always, my name is Daniel, this is GITV, and thanks for watching.